Coast Church. Good morning, friends of Rhythms of Grace and Rhythms of Grace contributors. It is Thursday, which means it is uh, my day uh, to hopefully offer a Rhythm of Grace. My name is Brad, and I am a minister at Nature Coast Church in Homosassa Springs, Florida, which is on the West Coast. Um, actually, this week, so on Thursday's Contributor to Rhythms of Grace, um, I'm going to read from a psalm, and I actually think I might have uh, done uh, this particular psalm on a Rhythm of Grace, but uh, I'm going to do it again um, because it's where I'm at, so it's the rhythm of where I am. I'm at, and uh, it's a great psalm, and I probably could do it every Rhythms of Grace, and we wouldn't exhaust um, this particular psalm, but it's Psalm 46, and I am going to read it. Good morning, John Paul, um, a faithful Rhythm of Grace listener, not just on Thursdays, but uh, every day, um, no matter what time uh, this ends up. Being. I'm going to read Psalm 46 this morning. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, kingdoms totter, yet he utters his voice, and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolation on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and he shatters the spear. He burns the chariot with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Now, you can actually read that psalm yourself, and it alone um, would be a rhythm of grace for you. Um, and I, today, I'm going to switch over to the, uh, the message, um, because I think in, in some places it's going to be helpful. Um, to us, even as uh, we talk uh, about it, you know, as we live in, um, you know, we live in times um, that things seem so uncertain, uh, things seem unsafe to us, um, but we don't need uh, the world uh, for us to feel that way, because I actually think for most of us um, in our daily lives, um, just in our own story, in our own families, um, in our own day-to-day -day, um, walk, we struggle to find certainty. Um, we actually struggle to find rest. And I think Psalm 46 um, is, it would be a great psalm for me to read um, every day. Um, but I want to read again the first passage in the message um, which, by the way, was written um, and given to us by Eugene Peterson, who actually went to be with Jesus a couple of days ago. Um, and so even reading this, I'm grateful for um, his call and his service um, to the Church of Christ, um, even as I read, not a translation, uh, which actually irks. Uh, people, especially those of the Reformed type of which uh, we are, but uh, I actually find the message to be a great blessing 
uh, to the church um, because it is a running commentary on the, on the scriptures. But God is a safe place to hide ready to help when we need him. God is our refuge and our strength. Our, our strength. Um, it reminds us that this day that God is our safety, that God is our safe place to hide, um, and that he is our strength. And those two things are combined. Um, I don't know that we always, you know, I think the, the refuge part uh, sometimes doesn't even exude strength. You know, God's my safe place to hide. Um, and, and yet at the same time, he is our safe, uh, he's our strength. He combines refuge and he combines strength. Um, that's a beautiful picture of God. It's a beautiful picture of our day. And if you actually follow it to the end of the, the psalm and, and its closing words, because God is both our refuge and our, saint, our strength, he is our safety, and God is our flexed muscle. Um, he is our safety, and he is our strength. At the end of the psalm, it says that we can be still and know that he is God. I love how Eugene Peterson puts it at the end. So, and this is why people probably don't like him, but I actually find him to be rich um, because that, that phrase, be still and know that I'm God, if you've been around the church a long time, um, you've probably heard that. Um, but instead of saying that, this is how uh, Peterson puts it in the message. Step out of the traffic and take a long loving look at me you see we can theologize be still and know that i am god but peterson has this way of putting it you know, the rhythm of grace for today is to say to step out of the traffic to step out of the rat race to step out of uh, the world where our time is never enough and we are never enough to step out of the world where we kind of operate in this idea of scarcity um, to take a step out of the traffic um, where we're always honking our horn. We're always irritated that someone else isn't doing what they need to do. Um, we're always irritated about how slow it's moving. We're always irritated in this day um, that we're not moving fast enough and we're not accomplishing what we need in our to-do list, step out of the traffic and find and take a long, hard look at God, a loving look. God is saying, take a loving look at me above politics, above everything. Be still and know that I am God. I've got you. I'm your refuge and I'm your strength. And I find um, those words to be extremely beautiful. It is interesting um, as you even read. So he says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present and always in a very present. I mean, he even used in the word Hebrew, this very present help in our time in trouble. Um, and then he goes into, you know, the, the seas rage um, and, the, and the seas foam and um, the tremors shift the mountains. What David is wanting us to know here is that the worse it gets, though the seas rage, though the mountains tremble, I'm in the midst of it. There is this present help in this time of trouble that even as the trouble gets worse, my safety becomes larger and my strength gets stronger. That the worse it gets, the more my safety increases and the more my strength grows. The worse it gets, the more God provides. And the worse it gets, he just gets stronger. And because the worse it gets, the more he provides. Because the worse it gets, 
he gets stronger. You'll know who's doing who's doing all the verbs here. It's God. Um, we can be still. We can step out of the traffic and know that he is God. And um, of course, this was written by David in um, the Old Testament. Um, but um, the promise of this came to us in Christ, um, who is our anchor. Um, we're in the book of Hebrews for the next few weeks at Nature Coast. He is our anchor. And um, he's your anchor today. He is the one thing, uh, the one thing that uh, we need to know. He has walked through those raging seas. He's walked on top of them. He has shown his strength at a cross and um, his power has been made evident in the resurrection. So that's the good news uh, for us today and it's the good news every day. And I'm reminded um, that that is the only news um, that is good. I was at a uh, uh, gathering last night in Crystal River, our Crystal River uh, uh, community group meets and one of the individuals um, that was there was sharing um, they had invited someone to church and, and someone they invite a lot, but uh, rarely uh, comes to church. Um, but they came this past Sunday. And um, the note of encouragement that was shared um, was the confidence that um, when and if um, they only ever come once, um, if uh, they, it's the only time they ever come, what are they going to hear? when they come. Um, and, and the encouragement was um, the ability to know that uh, each time they come, um, or if it's the only time they come to church, they're going to hear about this God who is the anchor, this Christ who has gone before them, this Christ, this Jesus plus nothing, who is everything. Which then reminded me last night um, that every Sunday morning when I get up, I don't know um, if it's going to be my last Sunday, I don't know if last Sunday is the last Sunday that I will ever have the chance uh, to open up scripture and to give good news, um, which is always a healthy reminder to give the message of the one who is our safety and the one who is our strength and his name is Jesus um, and he is our high priest and he has gone before us. And he is, sits on a throne called grace where we can find mercy and help in our time of need. You see, Hebrews 4 is just an extension of God as our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. And we now, post-cross, can be certain to, of that because we have a high priest whose name is Jesus who passed and has already passed into the heavens. And he now is the reality of the one who sits on a throne called grace and in tune with Psalm 46, where God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Hebrews 4.16 tells us that we go to a throne of grace and we go fearlessly and we go with confidence to this throne of grace. And what do we find there? Our refuge and strength. We find grace and we find mercy in our time of trouble. It will always be there because Jesus has risen and he sits on the throne and he is our very present reigning throne of grace person that you and I can come to. And what will we find when we come to? We will find grace and mercy in our time of need. And the worse it gets, the more grace and the more mercy and the more strength we will find um, because the worse it gets, his power and his resurrection is given to us. We are the recipient of his safety and of his strength. So jump out of the traffic today 
and into the arms of Jesus, jump out of the traffic and before a throne called grace. And you will find that your heart is given rest, it's given stillness, it's given peace by the God who loves, who sits on the throne. That's the good news for the day. That's the rhythm of grace. God is your refuge and is he is your strength. He is an ever present, always there help. In time of trouble, he's given us his spirit so that you and I can be still and know that he is God, that we can jump out of the traffic into the God of Jacob and find grace and peace in our time of need. Peace, join us tomorrow uh, for Rhythms of Grace or Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, where Nature Coast Church is live, um, where you can hear more about our high priest who has gone before us already and sits on a throne called Grace. Peace.